So, people who train um, for a small time and I have, have kind of limited times, so what I would suggest is if you only have say 30 to 45 minutes a day training, is really look at how you plan your week, okay? Uh, because you can still add in a good variety of uh, things that you can do um, with whilst allowing yourself to uh, fully recover before the next workout, you know, because a lot of people will then do the same thing every day and effectively it will lead to kind of either overtraining those muscles or potentially an injury because all of a sudden you're just hammering the same movements all the time, okay? Um, so for me, if I was to train five days a week and do kind of 30 to 45 minutes a day, what I would typically do is, here's my five days, I potentially do a lower body here and a lower body here. And then what I'm having is two days worth of rest and recovery in between. So regardless of um, what kind of, if you're doing weights, you're doing body weight or anything, I would focus on compound exercises. Now by compound, I mean multi-joint, okay? so bigger exercises that aren't isolating muscles like your squats, your deadlifts, your press ups, your rows, your shoulder presses. Um, all of these compound exercises move, uh, use and move more than uh, one muscle group and more than one joint at a time. Okay, So you've got your leg day there, you've got your leg day there, you've got two rest days there. Okay, What I would then do is put an upper body day here and an upper body day here Okay, so again you have two days rest. And then in between I would focus on either isolating um, the weaker muscles in your body um, or some, uh, those muscles that are kind of potentially um, need correcting, potentially movement correcting, um, as well as kind of having a recovery day. And by a recovery day for me, for example, um, it means kind of how well do you move. Um, a, lower intensity, so we're talking uh, yoga based movements, um, increasing your flexibility, stretching, uh, increasing your mobility, what's your range of movement like. Um, by simply having one, of, one or two of these days a week uh, will not only help you recover more, um, and it's kind of really giving you that holistic approach of kind of well-rounded training because quite often we will sack these type of sessions off to do more of the other sessions when in reality, how good are your squats? Do you have full range of movement? Can you go all the way down? Can you drive all the way back up? Are you hip dominated? Are you knee dominated? How are you moving? Are you able to do an overhead squat? Are you able to fully extend your arm whilst uh, holding a bar and supporting your weight? And it's these things that if if you don't have full range of movement, it's going to long term hinder your performance in your house, in your gym, uh, doing these exercises on these four other days. So that kind of Wednesday, if you will, that recovery day is, is also super important. And it's, it's kind of one of those sessions that a lot of people discard. But by simply adding that in, it will kind of do wonders for your body and you'll find that you'll start improving and your your quality, your rep quality will really improve and really kind of transform you in the right direction in regards to overall performance. So what I'd recommend is kind of following those kind of two days lower, two days upper body um, kind of format with a, a kind of a recovery day and then potentially the weekend off.